Islam, being the guide to our lives and how to live it, discusses many important topics and subjects. One important subject are table manners and how we should conduct ourselves with food and drink. We know what we are allowed to eat and drink, yet what other codes of practices should we uphold? In the West, we have what we call table manners. Some of these rules you may be familiar with. For example, no elbows on the table, put your mobile phones away. Islam and the Holy Prophet also teach us the way to behave around food and drink, especially with guests. Let us discuss. O oh, you who have believed, eat from the good things which we have provided for you and be grateful to Allah if it is indeed Him that you worship. He has only forbidden to you dead animals, blood, the fresh of swine and that which has been dedicated to other than Allah. But whoever is forced by necessity, neither desiring it nor transgressing its limit, there is no sin upon him. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Surah Al Baqarah, verse 172 to 173. Allah has allowed us to benefit from food, as there is goodness in it. We are allowed and encouraged to eat and drink wholesome, delicious, clean and pure food. One should eat and drink lawful things that are allowed, like vegetables, fruit and juices. There are great hadiths that say not to overeat. But what is overeating? Overeating is eating when you are full. Once you have eaten and your hunger is gone, you shouldn't eat extra. In fact, a full stomach is a source of rebellion and corruption. Not to eat breakfast and dinner is bad for the health, but to eat in between breakfast and dinner is also harmful to the health. You must keep a balance. The Holy Prophet would start and finish his meal with a little salt. He would also wash his hands and mouth before and after eating a meal. It is good to have vegetables and vinegar at the table. And it is forbidden to take meals on a dining table where wine is served. After picking your teeth, rinse your mouth three times. It is the right of a guest to a toothpick and that he, he be accompanied to the door, using gold and silver utensils for eating and drinking is strictly forbidden. There are many more advices given by the Ahlul Bayt in regards to table manners. Take small morsels and chew them well and do not stare at the faces of others. Feeding the brethren in faith and inviting them to a feast in a very virtuous act. We as Muslims and family members have many parties and get-togethers and feasts on many occasions. It is recommended to give a feast at the following five occasions. Marriage, aqiqa, circumcision of one son, purchasing or constructing a new house and returning home from travels. When it comes to eating and drinking, there are eight types of persons that are worthy of being cursed. A person who joins the meal uninvited, a guest who orders his host, one who expects a good turn from one's enemy, one who hoards, is mean and stingy and still expects to be obliged by others, one who interferes when two people are having a talk or a secret, one who does not give due respect to those in authority, one who sits in the company of those not worthy of, and finally one who talks with a person and does not give due attention to his words. Drinking water is an essential part of our lives. Without, we'd only survive three days. Imam al-Sadiq says, cold water lessens temperature, cures vomiting, digests food 
and is an antidote for hot heat. And also stated that boiled water is good for all types of pains and is not harmful in any way. It is said that water from the Zamzam, rainwater and the water of the Euphrates carry many benefits and excellences. It is recommended to drink water standing during the day and sitting at night, saying Bismillah before and Alhamdulillah after drinking something. One should drink his water slowly and do not fill your mouth with it. Also, do not gulp water in one single draw. Instead, drink it in three stages minimum. While drinking water, it is recommended to recite the following supplication. Salawatullah ala al Hussein wa ala ahl bayti wa ala ashabih wa la'natullah ala qatali wa a'dai Nay Allah shower his blessings on Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, the grandson of the Holy Prophet and his Ahlul Bayt and his companions. May he also shower his curses on the murderers and the enemies of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. It is important for a Muslim to always maintain a high level of akhlaq and also carry himself very well when eating and drinking. Make sure you are polite and eloquent in your mannerisms as people are very quick to judge. You don't want to look a mess with food and stains all over yourself. Stay clean, eat healthy. Ma'asalama and thank you for watching.